Hey, hey everyone, Happy Dude here, and thank you for joining me. So, in the last video, we've tested this SDI Combat Master from John Wick, and I was a bit baffled with the results. Uh, no matter which gas we used, green gas, red gas, black gas, or CO2 capsules, the FPS was always the same. Now you see that's not normal, so I have a brown suspicion that it has something to do with a special valve here inside that will regulate the uh, amount of pressure that goes to the BB, so it will always shoot around 250 FPS no matter which gas you use and um, all the extra pressure will go uh, to the blowback. So that would explain why uh, the kickback is harder with red gas and even harder with black gas and very hard with CO2 capsules because this has no lubrication and the pressure inside is way higher than with green gas, red gas or black gas. Because you see, green gas has a lot of lubrication oil inside, so the pressure is uh, lower than with red gas. That's why we use green gas in the summer when it's above 20 degrees. And then when it gets below that, we use uh, red gas for in the winter. And if you want even more pressure, then you can use uh, black gas. But this is normally used for uh, rifles. And now I'm wondering, is this something that they are going to do with all new guns, putting a special valve in there so that the FPS is always the same no matter which gas you use? I don't really like that. Um, or is it just something that they did with this gun? So uh, put it in the comments below. If you have a, a gun that always shoots the same FPS, no matter which gas you use, I really want to know. And that's also why I'm going to do this new test with my old and trusty Desert Eagle. I really adore this gun. Because just like all my other guns in my collection, uh, when you put more pressure into it, the FPS will go up and the kick will get harder. So let me show you that. We are going to start with green gas. And now I'm going to release all the green gas inside this magazine. And now, red gas. Remember to shake before use. Giggity, 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 oh! All right, we get a 20 FPS increase against the green gas. All right, red gas out. And now, black gas. I hope this magazine doesn't explode. So it seems that we gained another 30 FPS on top of the red gas. So in total we gained 50 FPS with the black gas. And then we fill it up with green gas because it's not 
good for the seals inside uh, to store it empty. There always needs to be uh, some gas with lubrication in there so the seals don't dry out. And here in this super slow-mo comparison you can see just how fast that slide goes backwards and forwards. The black gas is on the bottom and green gas is on top. Now I would also like to test CO2 into this Desert Eagle. I've been searching for years but there's not a single magazine that will fit into here that can hold CO2 capsules. So that's a bit of a shame. So what I recommend is when you have a CO2 gun just use the CO2 because the kick is a lot harder so it's more fun to shoot and the FPS will be higher but every five capsules uh, you can switch to the other magazine uh, if you can find a magazine that will fit in your gun and then just use green gas for one time and then the gun will be properly lubricated and if you have a gun that is designed to use green gas just use green gas if the fps drops too low you can uh, use red gas a few times but always end with uh, green gas for uh, lubrication inside the gun and I don't really recommend black gas, uh, especially if it's a gun you really like and you want it to last. Um, and don't ever put CO2 in there if it's not designed to do that. Even if you can find a magazine with CO2 that will fit in your gun, uh, just don't do it because it will break. Um, I tried that before in the past and the gun just... Uh, flew into pieces the barrel flew out it it broke the inside completely uh, you can do that if you have a gun that is designed um, to work on co2 and green gas or you have a very beefy gun like this desert eagle um, this is a very very heavy and very well built gun so it doesn't matter when what you put in there it will just handle it it's a shame that they don't build airsoft guns like this anymore uh, where you can put in as much pressure as you want and the gun will just handle it. Uh, well, well it, it is very noticeable that all my modern guns uh, have a lot of malfunctions like uh, magazines that leak or uh, slides that get stuck or BBs that get stuck and all my older airsoft guns they they still work and never had any malfunction